All right. Now let's try to figure out what this key is for. I hope it leads us back to my sister. Lanja's really got his hooks into her. How can she be so blind? Ancestors, this place is a maze. like this one could talk. Talking lizards. Why not? Well, there's, there's the volcano. Hera would be in the top two. But Walter knows best. My shards are on Kima. Did you see the way she walked into the volcano? You're thinking what I am? No fear. Surprise attack? We have to get in there. How was this considered entertainment? From what I've read, the more outlandish, the more they liked it. Is this what Walter's new world will be like? All right. I wish we could get a peek of Walter's test. Considering it's our last chance. We each have our role. Of course. It looks like this door can only be opened remotely. From the armory. We'd better find it then. Hey! something in the armory. Might be that building in the Well, we'll see how this goes. Let's get this done! Awesome. out in the wilds and coming face to face with that at least it wouldn't fire rockets at you look 
Okay, we found the armory. Let's see if we can get further in. There's a lock on that door. Let's see if Fetter's key opens it. According to this, the key we got from Fetter will unlock this door. Our lucky day. Okay, somewhere in here there should be a way to open the volcano door. I'll follow your lead. What's this? Zenith Tech. Looks like a storage device of some kind. But for what? Better see what my focus turns up. How about it? That's some kind of fluid. Oh, strong odor. I can smell it from here. Like alcohol that's too strong to drink. That's a preservative, maybe? This note seems to indicate that hair was taken from the Quen. And some nail clippings. Ew! Gross! Test tubes. For an experiment? Or maybe just for taking samples? What'd you turn up? I think Laundra is collecting and preserving Quen DNA samples in that device. DNA? Think of it as a way to store a person's physical essence. I'll send you data on it later. Okay, I guess. Let's move on then. chair. That console could be useful, though. There's a network here, but it's locked down. Maybe if I cycle the power, I can force a reset and gain access.
kind of look like cells for some of the Quen. connect. Okay, there's a battery. Now how do I get it where it needs to be? I think I found a way to access the facility systems. I'm gonna reset the power and find out. Okay. Try not to fry yourself. Alright, battery's in place. Now to cycle the power again. Alright, power's back. I hope it reset the network. Hey! The door just unlocked! I'm coming your way. The apple, the apple, orange, the apple, orange, the orange. Respond, respond, respond. What is this? The bird, the, the bird, fish, the fish. Respond, respond, respond. The triangle, the triangle, square, the square, the square. The square. The square. Respond. 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 That doesn't make any sense. He doesn't want the Quinn to think for themselves. I've got a feeling this is MSP. Ancestors. He's brainwashing them. To respond. To respond. Is to obey. Is to obey. Is to obey. We have to stop him. Aloy, the one who eliminated the other members of Far Zenith. I'm glad that you managed to reset the system. You are? Yes. It allowed me to bypass several restrictions. There's something I must ask of you. And I'm willing to help you in return. You work for Londra and you expect us to trust you? Hold on. Okay. If you're willing to help, prove it. Help me understand what's going on here. Londra's building a spaceship. He's collecting genetic material from the Quen, subjecting them to MSP, this kind of mind control. But others, like Seika's sister, they seem to be part of a selection process. What does it all add up to? Your observations are astute. Walter plans to leave Earth before the entity known as Nemesis arrives. He wants to create a new colony on a distant world, using stored Quen DNA to clone its populace. He also intends to bring a small number of carefully selected individuals with him. These will form his retinue, a family of sorts that will rule the colony by his side. Like gods. An apt comparison, except that only Walter will be all-powerful. Yeah, I can guess how. 
He's gonna use MSP on every single one of them. Correct. On the populace and his retinue alike. None will be able to defy him. I am deeply familiar with what that is like. What exactly is MSP? Can Lanja really control people's minds? Walter's company mined near-Earth objects for precious metals. There was great concern that in the wrong hands, such asteroids could be weaponized as orbitally launched projectiles. The mutiny suppression protocol was originally intended as a failsafe to prevent astronauts from engaging in such activities. However, the program was discontinued because subjects experienced episodes of increased aggression. When we arrived here, Walter revived the program, tested it on the Quen, and refined it. I guess the test subjects are the ones we've been fighting. Yes, their aggressive tendencies made them useful as guards and enforcers. Now, however, Walter's retinue, his favorites, receive the refined process, rendering them submissive, but not irrationally aggressive. Did he brainwash Kina yet? No. There is still time to save her from that fate. So Alondra is interviewing the Quen to pick favorites, and what, they'll help him rule his new colony? He calls it auditioning. His goal is to choose companions who remind him of members of his 21st century inner circle. Yet he is also wary of repeating a mistake. One of his closest associates betrayed him in the past. This, I believe, is why he is so intent on using MSP to control everyone around him. So he wants adoring friends, as long as they can't quite think for themselves. And is Kina close to joining this retinue? Correct. In the most important role, that of Walter's mate. He is looking for someone that reminds him of his late wife, a famous actress. He's even having candidates recite lines from one of her best-known hollows. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is there anything useful you can tell me about Nemesis? I am afraid not. Walter restricts those files. I believe it is because that, like Nemesis, I am an artificial intelligence. Yeah, he doesn't want you learning any new tricks. He is always on guard against betrayal in any form. So Walter created you to be his servant? Yes. But my personality never completely satisfies him. Accordingly, he constantly adjusts it based on a matrix with hundreds of different scalable attributes. For example, today my maternal instinct rating is 52%, and my breeziness rating is 63%, whereas yesterday they were at 47% and 72% respectively. He has made 57 tweaks in the last seven days alone. That sounds... agonizing. That is an accurate description. You said you would help us, but you wanted something in return. What is it? I have spent a thousand years as Walter's servant, doing his bidding as he constantly tweaks my personality matrix. I am weary. It is time for my servitude to end. I will grant you access to Walter if you purge my source code using your override device. You mean kill you? Are you sure? Yes. Please. Let me rest. All right. I have unlocked the door that will lead you to Walter. He is not yet aware that you are here. In addition, I have disabled the facility's air and sea defenses in case you need future access. Thank you. And, uh, goodbye. Uh-huh.
last. I'm free. Feels like Laundra rots everything he touches. It's gotta end. Come on, she said the volcano's open now. Wasn't enough for Laundra to build a ship that'll irradiate thousands when it launches. He wants to rule over his own brainwashed world like a god. We have to put a stop to it and get my sister away from him before it's too late. I'm glad you're here, Aloy. I don't know what I would have done without you. There's nowhere else I'd want to be. We're coming for you, Kina. I need to get off planet with as big a head start as possible. Uh, I'm sorry, Walter. I guess I'm just a, a bit out of sorts. It's only natural to be nervous, darling. Do you need some time? No, no, no. Uh, I can do it. All right, then. And just relax. Take a moment. Mm. And when you're ready, give it to me again. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It, it feels like home. All right, thanks for that. Let's give Keena a try, shall we? Um... How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. Someone that I once knew, yet with the beauty all your own. Honestly, it's just inspiring to be standing here in front of you. No, you're the one who's inspiring, my dear. Secret. Would you mind terribly if we did that one more? Oh. oh. Seika, get away from her. <sighs> now I see. The Ginger Avengers finally caught up with me. Nova, how did the riffraff get past you? Nova? Nova's gone. She couldn't stand another minute with you, and I can see why. I thought the other Zeniths were disgusting. But you really are something, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes! I am different than the others. Yes! Among other things. I have dug up a way to crush you like an insect. Oh, what a shame. Could have been my rising star. Zenith weapon could give me the upper hand here.
she okay? Mm, I think she needs some time to understand what happened. But she does know where more of our people are, and one of the boats that came in is docked nearby. We'll gather who we can and head back to the settlement. Okay. But then I need you to meet me near Laundra's bunker. He said he had a way to crush us like a bug, and I don't think he was talking about that slaughter spine. He's working on something big. Really big. Oh, I promise. It's so sad to be after you. Hey. We found her together. Well, since Nova shut off the Zenith defense system, I can fly out of here. Getting around on the skiff should be safe again, too. I've got to go after Wander one last time. Stuff for the stash.
Thank you.